Hello, I'm Lynn Gilmartin with an update on all that's happening this week on the World Poker Tour. We have an update from the WPT World Online Championships on Party Poker. We have some Savage Beats by Jamie Staples this week. We also meet GTO commentator Henry Kilbane. And the final episode of Season 17 will air on Fox Sports tonight. You do not want to miss that one. It's all this week on the WPT. The $3 million guaranteed Six Max Championship is well underway in the WPT World Online Championships on Party Poker. Dealers, shuffle up and deal. The winner of this $3,200 buy-in Six Max event will have their name etched on the Mike Sexton WPT Champions Cup, the newly named uh, trophy for the World Poker Tour. They'll win a Ublo watch, a set of Baccarat Crystal Everyday Tumblers, the lion's share of the $3 million guaranteed prize pool, and a virtual induction into the WPT Champions Club with a Baccarat Crystal Champagne Toast, just like Vince and I had this week with Gavin Cochran, who was the first one to win his name etched on the Mike Sexton WPT Champions Cup. He is the newest member of the WPT Champions Club after taking down the 8 Max World Online Championships event. And we spoke to him during the week. To be honest, like it's not my game of choice, the, uh, the No Limit Hold'em. I usually play Pot Limit Omaha, so... For me, like I had kind of had no idea what I'm doing. Like I'm clicking the best buttons that I can, and sometimes it works out great. <laughs> That's inspiring to hear because I just click buttons as well, but it doesn't quite work for me. I haven't won over half a million dollars in a WPT title yet, but it gives me hope. Well, you have to not lose them all in. That's what happened. I didn't lose them all in, basically. You know, I'm so happy to see the World Poker Tour online uh, for the first time. I don't like so much taking long flights to go and, and play an event. To be able to play in, in my own home is great. And, you know, I really hope it's not the last one that we see online. Well, Gavin, congratulations again. The newest member of the WPT Champions Club winning the World Online Championships 8 Max event. Over half a million dollars in your pocket. Vince, what else has he won? Gavin, you're the big winner, big money. But on top of that now, you're in the World Poker Tour Tournament of Champions. That's a $15,000 entry. And of course, you get the beautiful Hublot Titanium watch. Along with that, you get a set of everyday Baccarat tumblers. And I have one right here. And Lynn, you have yours. I have a, a champagne flute, which is only fitting for a very special toast. Congratulations, Gavin. Cheers. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Gavin's final table in the 8 Max Championship, then you would have seen Henry Kilbane, or in fact, if you've watched any stream lately, he's on a ton of them. He's known as the GTO commentator, and I popped into that stream as a guest, and it was the first time I had met him, so I thought, why not invite him onto this show to introduce him to you all? So let's get to know Henry Kilbane a little better. Uh, so I, I play live cash. I don't think I have the greatest theoretical mind. I am just very good with people, and... I love engaging in conversations with people at the table and just seeing what their comfort zones are, just their natural, the way they, they order coffee from a waitress, you know, the way they converse with people in between hands when there's not a hand going on. I just love psychology and neuro-linguistic programming and human behavior in general, like even outside of poker, I just think it's such an interesting subject to read up on and the fact that I can implement it into what I'm passionate about and you know, my, my living, um, it's just a win-win. So now you've found yourself here in a very uh, busy summer of playing a ton of poker, commentary. Uh, mm. How would you describe your days? I would wish I could pretend that, you know, I wake up, I have some granola, I go to the gym and it's so super strict. But at the moment, I'm just enjoying being 25. Um, and a lot of that just involves new life experiences and, you know, failing and failing again and learning from mistakes and just growing as a person. The main thing for me, and it's something I always push like for my, my close poker friends, is just like life balance and that you don't always need to be in the lab you know from the moment you wake up to the moment you finish your session and there are just so many different things that you know you can do with your time it's studying a new language or you're learning how to dance we were talking about that before um before we went live you know just going for walks uh, i love diving i've grew up in the water i think oh. that's the 
that's yeah my main takeaway at the moment from my current world that I live in. Well, you're nailing it. I wish I was that wise at 25. <laughs> you seem to have it all figured out. <laughs> no, 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 not at all, not at all. I've only only just started to understand what real bankroll management means. So I t- tick that one off. Commentary is not something I can do. I cannot. I'm a host <laughs> and I, I interview people. But then when you add in the layer of trying to uh, balance this, this one-on-one conversation, but then also keeping another eye on action and then yeah. being able to naturally bounce between the two and like keeping a conversation here going, but then making sure you're not forgetting about the action because you know the viewers are there for the action truly. This is just the entertainment that's filling in the gap. That is a fine art. That is so hard to do. And I think a lot of people underestimate just how difficult commentary is. It's, it just yeah. looks like a bunch of people having a chat, but it is so different. Like it is very, very hard. Like, would you say that, how, like, Obviously, practice makes perfect and stuff, but how has your journey been? Do you feel like you're still learning every time you're doing it? Like what, or have you found it quite sort of easy from the beginning? Definitely still learning. Uh, That's a great question. Always learning and just trying to improve. And a lot of that just comes down to uh, just listening to other people. Like I was taught from a very young age that you're born with two ears and one mouth. And the way for me to improve as a commentator is to just listen to the people that have paved the road for me. Another key takeaway for me um, that was like a massive learning curve at the start was that you just cannot please everyone. No matter who you are, how good you are at commentary, you could be the best poker player in the world and the best conversationalist in the world. And you're going to have people in the chat just like, who's this guy? What's he talking about? Like, why, why are Lynn, Henry and James talking about Australia and not focusing on it? Like, you're just always going to have that. Matt Savage is out on the golf course this week, so he's taken a week off from Savage Beats, but Jamie Staples has stepped up with his own entertaining version of it. Unfortunately for Jamie, though, he was the subject of each beat. So um, it's a pretty entertaining episode, but this one in particular takes the cake. Picking up the action in the $3,200 8 max, I have three bet pre-flop and I have flopped a set of jacks. This is the dream situation. I could be up against a king, I could be up against a queen, I could be up against all sorts of hands here. We go for the C bet, we get a call. Beautiful six of diamonds on the turn. My opponent has 90,000 left. There's no problems here. All the chips, they're going in the middle. What could go wrong? <laughs> it's still honestly it's been a week i'm recording this a week later you can't it just that's not okay poker gods that's not okay in a 3200 championship event buy-in of the wpd woc no thank you reaction now tonight on fox sports our final episode of season 17 air it is the final episode of our flagship season ending event the tournament of champions tony dunstan's 